Recently, I've been getting back into creating things for my YouTube community posts that have borders on them, and I thought that you might be interested to know how I create those borders and some of the fun, cool new tricks that you can do with the new gradient feature in Canva for those borders. The first thing you're going to see here is that I'm on Canva's homepage and I'm using Canva's desktop app. I want to make a square social media post because that works perfectly for the YouTube community tab. We're going to go to social media and Instagram post. You might wonder what a YouTube community tab is. Let me show you on your channel. If you have advanced features turned on, I believe that you should have something, a tab up here called community. This is where you can share sort of what's on your mind. You've got different options here. You can share an image. You can share an image poll. You can share a text poll. You can add an existing video. I even think that there are other options on your mobile app, like quiz recently on my mobile app. Here's an image poll that I did. Now this is one of the border options that you have. But I'm just going to show you sort of how you can create this look. And the first thing that I want to do is get my gradient. Instead of doing the background, I'm actually going to make a shape. And I'm just going to click R on my keyboard and size this shape to be this square. And you can do that by using the little white slots or the white circles here and just sizing it that way. You can also click on position and under the arrange tab, there's a width and height. And I'm just double checking. Yes, it is 1080 by 1080. And this just allows me to be able to move it around and do what I need to do. I'm going to give it a gradient. I'm going to click that color option because you may not know how to create a custom gradient. You might want to create these gradients that Canva already offers. For example, this one or this one. I've got a whole tutorial on how you can create your custom gradient. And if you need that tutorial, just comment below custom gradient tutorial, and I'll be glad to link it for you. Next up, we're going to create another rectangle, and this is to create our border. So we're going to click, guess what, R on the keyboard again, and I'm just going to size it to the margin. Now, when I start moving the edges here you're going to notice this pink margin pop up and that's the exact size that i want it to be like if you want it to be there so that you can see it all you need to do is click the file button go down here to view settings and click show margins and then that margin will be there so that you can see it it really is a little difficult to see if I scroll in a lot, I can see it, but it's just very light. So, but we're going to use that margin size, this rectangle. And I noticed that I've got some white edges. So I'm just going to make this back one just a little bit bigger to make sure that I don't have any white edges on my background. And this is how we make our border. So we're going to click this border style, which is right next to the font name. Of course, as Canva evolves, it might be in a different location, but for now, that's where it is. And then I'm going to click border weight and we can decide how thick we want our border with this slider. And we can even give it a little corner rounding. We're going to see that I've got a nice square with a border. And I'm going to actually duplicate this. And you might think that that's a little complicated, but you're going to see why in just a minute. I'm going to change this cyan color to a white. So I'm going to click the transparency button and reduce it. And when I do that, it reduces both the border and the middle section. So now what I'm going to do is take this one and put it right on 
top of it. It covers it up, but in a second, it won't. We are going to click the color again, the cyan color or whatever color yours is. And then over here, there is a no color option. When I click that, the border stays dark, but I can see that middle area. And so this is how I would design for my base for a community post. You can actually create a little bit of texture on your image. And so I'm going to do that by, I'm just going to choose color and I want to see if I can find, we're going to use this and I'm going to give it a transparency. So now do you see that it just gives it a little bit of a texture? And one of the new features is that you can click position and go to layers and you can move the layers underneath. So I'm going to drag this right underneath that border. And that's how I would do it. And then I would give a quote. Let's go to text. I'm going to type in quote and see if I can find a quote that I like or you can change the quote to be whatever you want. Might even align it like that. And do something like that. When you download it, you'll want to click share. Download. You can download it as a PNG or you can even download it with a GIF if you have an animation to it. And you can click download. Here's one that I created where the border was a little bit bigger. I've just got a bunch of different things underneath there. I just love experimenting and trying different things. The middle is a gradient and the outer is a white. I made it in such a way that made this look like a border. And even if I get rid of the border style, like that looks like a border because I played a trick with the color in the background being the same color as the one in the front ground. And this is a four color gradient, and I'm not going to go over each individual colors, but it is a linear 90 degree four color gradient. But let's, uh, let's download this. We're going to test it. So now let's upload that file. I want to see if I can remove the backgrounds and get like a border that's got the background removed. Not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to see. Yeah, it didn't take out the, uh, the middle section there. I didn't think that it would, but you never know. But still, that's a pretty, pretty cool look. I'm going to take this and make it the size of this. And then I'm going to download this with a transparent background because I want to be able to use this on um, multiple designs. So I'm going to add this to my brand hub. And so I'm going to add a brand icon and I'm going to add it in the photos tab. And that should be going there now. We're going to make sure that it uploaded right. It did. So now I can use this on anything. And when I click I, it's going to give me a title of that. But I'm going to change the title to Gradient Outline for Community Tab. And so now anytime I want to use this particular one, I can just make it a little bit bigger. I can size it to the background and I can change the background color to something that I would like instead. And then I can create my community post with that instead of having to redo that every single time. If you want to know more about how to use the YouTube community post, then you're going to want to check out this tutorial right here because it's going to tell you more about how to create animations for your YouTube community post. And I'll see you next time. Bye.